Surfing through the winter in the UK is not what most people would consider normal. It takes a certain masochistic streak to want to immerse yourself in freezing water in the name of having a good time. The anticipation of cold water surfing becomes obsessive, watching, waiting, and waiting some more. The cold gnaws at your skin, it bites your hands and feet and saps your strength. The creeping numbness tells you that your time is short. There are no all day winter sessions. To me, it's like the sensation of enjoyment whilst feeling pain, that wry smile you get whilst being in agony grit your teeth and get on with it. With every duck dive, the desire to get out and retreat to a warm car gets stronger. Paddling hard becomes a necessary tactic rather than a chore. Heat begins to return until the next wave hits. It takes effort and drive to stay out there. You start to question yourself. How long have I been in? How long can I stay here? Maybe the next good wave is just beyond the horizon. It's amazing what you can put up with if the promise of good surf is in the balance. Waiting two hours for one good wave can be par for the course and catching it can be all the motivation you need to go back. Surfing in the summer is simpler and can be more fun, but it doesn't have the same hold over me. Cold water surfing may be tough, but it's so much more rewarding. <laughs>